Hi, come on in. Hey, hey, there she is. So who are you and where are we? My name's Eve. I'm a second year architecture student at Deakin and we're at the Deakin A&B workshop. Thanks for having us, Eve. Um, so what or who inspires you to be creative? Um, I think in architecture, it's about being in a space and experiencing it um, and taking inspiration from that. I think uh, when I start a project, I really try to focus on the individual standing in a space and what I want them to feel and see. That's beautiful. So do you have a favourite architect? Uh, I don't have a single favourite architect. I think it's important to kind of take little pieces of different architects that you like to make your own style. But some people that come to mind are uh, Ricardo Bofill. I really love the vibrancy of his work. Um, and then I was really inspired by the guest lecture we had by Sir David Ajaye earlier this year. He's an award-winning architect and all of his work just really focuses in on the culture and the people that he's designing for. And it comes back to that, like designing for the individual. That's incredible. So what inspires you to pursue architecture and design? I kind of always wanted to. Um, I always joke that it stemmed from my years spending uh, time building in Minecraft when I was in primary school. Um, and honestly, I still do a little bit. Um, uh, but I just kind of kept with those design subjects throughout school um, and uh, just decided to do architecture. And I'm here and I'm really loving it. And I think it was definitely the right choice. Oh, we think so too, but also yes, Minecraft. Um, so what role do you think architects have in creating a sustainable future? Uh, that's actually a really good question because, I mean, 40% of global emissions come from the built environment and that's in like uh, the actual construction of our buildings and then also the operations, so the emissions from the energy we need for heating, cooling, stuff like that. So if as architects we can try and use sustainable materials and reduce the um, need for heating and cooling, we can really substantially reduce emissions. That's awesome, I had no idea. Um, so what projects are you currently working on? Uh, so right now in studio, we're actually working on a bit of public architecture. Um, our site's um, up a couple of blocks in central Geelong. Um, so it's really good to be able to visit it. Um, but what we're designing is a multi-purpose space to accommodate our artists in Geelong. So residential spaces, a workshop spaces, a little bit like this. <laughs> That's awesome. Sounds like you're creating a beautiful community. Um, so how has the workshop improved your experience in studying architecture? I mean, it's been so incredible to have access to all of these cool machines. So like the laser cutters to my left here and the 3D printers behind you. We've got a CNC router in this room, I'll show you on the way. And then of course all the other manual equipment like the band saws out there, which is more like a woodworking area. Um, so I don't know, it's just, I know that I'm going to be able to be using these things in the industry. So having that head start and knowing how to use them now has been so cool. And it's made some pretty awesome models that I've been very proud of. That's amazing. Um, so what would you say your dream career looks like at this very moment? Hmm. At the moment, I'm, sh I'm sure it'll change, but I think I'd be really interested in working in like commercial and public architecture. Um, I think it just provides a bit more variety than other um, areas and I think there's going to be a lot of unique um, solutions created for some very unique problems. Sounds amazing. And if we were to go back a couple of years, um, what were you like in high school? Um, I, I wasn't very outgoing. I just had like a small group of friends. Um, but you know, I tried my hardest and um, I took every opportunity that was given to me and I think that's all you can ask of a high schooler. Absolutely. In here's the CNC router. We don't have anything on there at the moment, but it's pretty cool in action. It's got a drill that works um, uh, left to right, um, but also up and down. Ooh. Um, and if you could tell your year 12 self one thing, what would it be? Hmm. I think probably you don't have to have everything worked out right now. Uh, just try and do what you love, take a bit of a leap um, and see where it takes you. Amazing. Um, did you have a particular subject that you excelled in in secondary school that encouraged you to study architecture? Uh, I think for me it was probably visual communication design in VCE. Um, I really loved that subject so I put in a lot of effort and I think I was rewarded for that and it definitely solidified that design was the right area for me. Amazing. 
Um, so since we're here in the workshop at Deakin, do you have a favorite place on campus? Um, other than the workshop, of course. Probably uh, the architecture studio up on the top level. Um, it's got incredible ceilings, uh, a lot of uh, exposed architecture. Um, and I think that's probably the best environment to be creative and get to interact with the other architecture students. The waterfront campus is so awesome. It's like a converted warehouse, so it's cool to be surrounded by all that historical architecture. Sounds incredibly inspiring. Um, speaking of inspiring, what is your favorite study snack to inspire your studies? Oh, probably chocolate. I've got a really <laughs> bad um, sweet tooth. <laughs> Me too. Um, what are you watching right now? Right now, um, we're watching New Girl, actually. Oh, good choice. We love Zoe Deschanel. Um, if you could design one building, what would it be? Eh, I think probably a theatre, actually, or like an event centre. I think there's, uh, you can be pretty creative um, and a bit arty with uh, what I design, but then there's also that focus on functionality as well and fitting everything in. And that's kind of why I chose architecture. I really love the combination of creativity and art and then that functionality. That's a lovely perspective. Um, what's one thing you do to be sustainable on campus? Um, what I do is I like to bring like my lunch in a reusable container. I'm not um, going to like buy food every day. Um, it's just economically sustainable as well, of course. And I don't drink coffee, but I'm sure if I did, I would use the reusable cup um, cups that they provide. Amazing. We love some Frank Green Deacon merch. Um, what's one thing you've learned about yourself while studying at Deacon? Uh, I think I've learned that I'm capable of more than I thought. I really stepped outside of my comfort zone this last year. I went on a study tour to Malaysia and I'm also a residential leader at Deakin Res and I never thought um, in high school that I could do any of those things but I did them and it was such an incredible experience. Oh, it sounds like you really pushed yourself outside your boundaries, which is amazing. What did you study in Malaysia? Um, so we studied in KL with um, one of the uh, universities there and we actually worked on a design project with the students. Um, and like that was an incredible experience to sort of learn how architecture changes with that different environment. But also I think the best bit was getting to know the students and seeing Malaysia through their perspective. It's a unique opportunity you wouldn't get just as a tourist. Oh, that sounds amazing. Um, and do you have a favorite piece of equipment in here? Um, I mean, they're all pretty cool, but I think the one I use the most is the laser cutter. I can show you what some people have been working on if you'd like. Yeah, amazing. So all the cool equipment's in here that um, we were in earlier, but this is our smallest laser cutter. Uh, wow. And in here is something one of the workshop guys, Shieldsy, has been working on. It's pretty intricate. It's kind of crazy. Um, I think it's so cool seeing it at work and having something 2D on your screen come out um, and then you put it all together and you can make some pretty impressive models that I've been very proud of. That's awesome. So I think you live on res, right? So is your room covered in these? So many. <laughs> <laughs> um, and what advice do you have for students who are considering a degree in design and architecture at Deakin? I think just be passionate, come with passion, try your hardest. If you're enjoying it and you want to be in that area, you're going to put in the best work and you'll succeed. Amazing. Well, thanks for having us, Eve. No worries. See you, See later. you around.